and welcome to the fascinating world of storytelling. Today we are diving into the intricacies of crafting compelling characters and exploring the timeless concept of character archetypes. Let's start by defining your characters. In any story, developing your main character is crucial. While they can be inspired by anyone or anything, I'd recommend drawing from real life experiences. Steer clear of mirroring existing movie or television characters. Look to your family, friends, or even that intriguing person you overheard in a coffee shop. Your characters should be grounded in reality, even if your story isn't. It's not just about the main character though. Pay attention to every character in your story. There are no bad characters, only poorly developed ones. After all, every character, no matter how small their role, contributes to the richness of your narrative. Your narrative should resonate with the audience, leaving a lasting impression. Begin by introducing your main character or characters in a captivating situation. This is where your story takes flight in act 1. So in every story, character archetypes play a pivotal role in the transformative journey. Character archetypes are recurrent patterns of human behavior and personal traits that are commonly found in stories and myths across different cultures. They provide a framework for understanding characters' motivations, actions, and interactions with the world around them. Characters within stories often embody exaggerated human traits, making their roles clear to the audience. Think of Disney's Cars or Finding Nemo, where even non-human characters exhibit distinct qualities. These exaggerated traits help viewers identify with the characters and the lessons they embody. In his book, The Writer's Journey, Christopher Vogler outlines eight common character archetypes found in stories. While there are more archetypes beyond these, they provide an excellent starting point for character development. Again, let's take the example of Shrek to identify various character archetypes. We have a hero. He is the protagonist who embarks on the transformative journey, often self-sacrificing and caring deeply for others. Shrek is the protagonist of the story. He is a grumpy ogre who lives in a swamp and has no desire to be involved in other people's problems. However, when Lord Farquaad asks him to rescue Princess Fiona from a dragon-guarded tower, he reluctantly agrees. Shrek is a hero because he is brave selfless and willing to put himself in danger to help others we have a mentor this is a wise guide who imparts wisdom advice or artifacts to aid the hero donkey is shrek's loyal sidekick he is talkative optimistic and always hungry donkey who loves to make shrek laugh donkey is a mentor because he provides shrek with wisdom support and friendship Next we have the threshold guardian. This is a character who presents challenges for the hero to overcome during their journey. The muffin man is a character who tries to stop Shrek and Donkey from rescuing Fiona. He is a giant gingerbread man with a bad temper. The muffin man is a threshold guardian because he presents a challenge for Shrek and Donkey to overcome. Next we have the herald messengers or knowledge bearers who alter the story's course the magic mirror is a magical artifact that tells lord farquaad the name of his true love the magic mirror is a herald because it sets the story in motion by telling lord farquaad that his true love is princess fiona next we have shapeshifters characters whose allegiance or opposition to the quest remains uncertain Fiona is a princess who is trapped in a dragon-guarded tower. She is beautiful, kind, and intelligent, but she is also cursed to transform into an ogre at night. Fiona is a shapeshifter because she is not what she seems. She is both a princess and an ogre, and she is struggling to find her place in the world. Next we have a shadow, the primary antagonist and opposition to the hero. representing darkness and fear lord farquaad is the main antagonist of the story 
He is a short, arrogant and power-hungry ruler who wants to marry Princess Fiona so that he can become king. Lord Farquaad is a shadow because he represents everything that Shrek is not. He is cruel, selfish and manipulative. Next we have Ally, a companion who humanizes and balances the hero, providing insights into their hopes and fear. Princess Fiona is Shrek's ally. She is the one who convinces Shrek to rescue her from the dragon guarded tower. And she is the one who falls in love with him. Fiona is an ally because she provides Shrek with companionship, support and love. Trickster is the last one. The character who injects humor and humility into the narrative, often shaking up reality. Donkey is the trickster of the story. He is always making Shrek laugh and he is always getting into mischief. Donkey is a trickster because he injects humor and humility into the narrative. Now take a moment to reflect on your favorite fairy tales or movies and see if you can identify these character archetypes within them. Don't forget one character can have multiple archetypes as human characters are complex and multifaceted and they are not always what they seem. This makes them more interesting and relatable as they are more like real people. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the art of storytelling from character development to understanding character archetypes. If you found this exploration valuable, be sure to like and subscribe for more insights into the fascinating world of storytelling. Remember, every story is a unique voyage and we are here to help navigate it with you. Stay tuned for our next adventure in the world of storytelling.